Hey, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, we are back. I'm Mr. Bevel, and I know what I did wrong. I just have to get the password wrong. Incorrect. 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 Do I do it again? Oop, I'm locked out. Contact IT. Oh, dear. Oh, now look what I did. For crying out loud. <sighs> Let me try to log in with my account. Okay, everything seems to be in order. I've unlocked your account. Please, try not to break anything else. Oh, I'll try. Alright, welcome back everybody. Phase one, complete. Now, I need to extract admin password. Which will be very nice. Checking removal devices, floppy found, blah 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 OS, blah 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 pudding, bada bing, bada bang, bada boom. Admin and gadget. Inspector gadget. Gadget. All right, network settings. Dorm B. I don't remember the number. On. All right, that should do it. I ah, didn't have to remember the number. Scanner, empty scanner. All right. Oh, don't do nothing. Inspector Gadget. Alright. Hacker Dave. Hi, Dave. Hi, Dave. Yeah. Guess what? You got it? Hang on. Oh, man, I could kiss you! Um, figuratively, that is. I am so gonna get back at Clyde now. What are those admin credentials, by the way? Not telling, buddy. Saving those for a rainy day. Huh. Yeah, but he'll probably nice change his password here for you stays in my room then. regularly. Sure, then I'll just have to log back on and click that pretty little lock icon again. Now, this is just emotional blackmail. Quid pro quo, Dave. Fine. I'll have it dropped off at your room. God damn, you're like a she Clyde. A Clyde egg. Huh. That is the worst insult I have ever heard. Later, Dave. Alright. I'm not sure if I'd trust a disc from a hacker who I just... If not pissed off, at least frustrated. I'll just get rid of these notes now. I don't need them anymore. Getting rid of my notes. Open it. There was a floppy disk inside. What was I saying? Tools. I was very confused because for a moment I thought it said teens. Does it matter which password I use to log in? computer for? All right. Stuff. And things. This picture is in good shape. I don't think it needs to be analyzed. This is the one. The overexposed picture. I notice there's no long, tedious boot process when I'm not using the disk. <laughs> List of things bright picture is not allowed to do at the foundation. That is not how computers work. Ah, oh, 
crap, is this gonna be an alien mystery? Sorry, it automatically started talking. She said, ah, there. What is the, What are those lights? I didn't even click analyze image. I just got the bars setting right. What do you mean narrow down search area? Print it. I don't want to print that part of the image. Then, um... Good idea, but I should probably zoom in all the way. Do we need the plant? Okay. This is one of those games I haven't played in 20-something years. Well, okay, I lied. This game's not that old, but I haven't played it in, like, three years. Alright. Voice Forger. I don't have an audio. Huh. So I'm gonna have to Voice Forge? Like some kind of audio dwarf? Audio dwarf and blacksmith? Alright. Oh, wait. I do have this. What is this? Leave a message after the beep. Hello, Joseph. Mrs. Rain. It's me. Ch yeah, this is the one we need. I'm pretty sure of it. But how do I get an audio cassette into a Can I scan a tape? Huh. Welcome, flag. Tape ends with dot wave. Who the heck uses waves anymore? Okay, Erica Wade, let's see if we can't motivate you to hear me out. A after beep, leave message, read, please. Uh, no. This is going to take a while. Hold on. This isn't as tedious as I recalled. I was misremembering the place where you had to reassemble audio from a shattered audio crystal in... Oh god, what was that game with the stupid god-awful square root pie pun? It's your father. Call... Kathy Rain. Almost. Just a few more tweaks. Wait, do I need a few more tweaks, or do I not need a few that more tweaks? That should work. Oh, nice. Dude, no audio analyst analysis program this complex would fit on a 3x5 floppy. Trust me on this one, those things were crap. Alright, the forge message should now be at the end of the original tape. Now that song's stuck in my head. Alright. Hold on. Let's put the tape in the player. Where is my... Combined dictabaphone with... There we go. Now I'm probably going to get this thing keyed up to the right spot. I will not make you watch me do that, but hold on. Never mind. Turns not out right she now. says not I right now. I have a forged message ready go. for playback. I'm a doofus. I was expecting the game to make me do more work. Which is usually a safe assumption. You've reached Erica Wade. 
Leave a message after the beep. I don't see how those things work together. Wait, what? Hello, Erica. It's your father. Call Kathy Rain and give her what she wants. Bye. All right. I think we could go to jail for this. I could be wrong. Wait, did she call right away? You've reached Erica Wade. Leave a message after the beep. Hi, Erica. This is Kathy Rain. I spoke to your father. He asked me to get in touch with you and <coughs> said he would call ahead. You can reach me at 555-8352. Bye. Your move, Erica. Your move, Erica, indeed. Oh, hello there, Mildred. Hi yourself, Agatha. What? How'd you... Oh, never mind. <laughs> I know your social security number, too. Okay, oh, she's God. Creepy. Soon you'll start stealing my clothes and then walk around and then pretending to be me. Who says I haven't done that already? Okay, I, I admit, that's off. pretty funny. So, anyway, how did things go with Dave? Pretty good. I had to sabotage your computer. You had to what? Oh, chill out, It was just a tiny little thing. I just needed an excuse for the IT guy to come by so I could steal his password. Clyde? But he's so nice. Why'd you want to steal his password? It's a long Detective story. Detective stuff. And then, I used Mr. Wade's synthesized voice to craft this fake message, which I left on her answering machine. Sorry, now that's sound. some out-of-the-box thinking. Yep, just might be silly enough to work. Yeah! Anyhow, feel free to keep using my computer. I need to do some homework anyway. Sounds good. I'm sure I found everything in the picture of those lights, but I have a nagging feeling that they're connected to something I found yesterday. I was just thinking about how this old this computer was, and I realized my dad had one of those early-ass computers where the keyboard, monitor, and just everything were all one piece. Makeup check, hair check, horrible mood, and contempt for humanity check. You forgot about your resting scally line. face. I totally do not have a... Yeah, you kind of do. Well, told you. I actually think you have more of a I'm sick of the world and it's crap in general face. Hey E, got a sec? Sure thing, Kathy. What's up? So, what's your take on this Charles Wade? I'm not sure. He sounded like a super nice guy on that tape, but media says that he's a ruthless businessman. The tape is over two decades old. Maybe he's changed. Either that, or he is very different in his private life. Hard to know without actually seeing him. Very possible. What do you think of this cocky person? Well, uh, the nickname makes me think of, uh, you know, boy parts. <laughs> and you call yourself a Christian. I wonder what was so special about Lily Myers. Well, besides her being a talented artist who drowned herself in a lake. I bet there's some secret about her art. Let's hope Charles Wade has some answers. Any ideas about what happened to my grandfather in 81? Beats me. Maybe he found what he was looking for. Or it found him. Did you just quote a tagline from one of those cheesy horror novels? Maybe. <laughs> What do you think of Lily Meyer's art? I actually she looked her up this morning, oh. and I couldn't find any records of her being recognized as an artist. How did she see any of that art? Yeah. I doubt there was ever a chance for that to happen. Wade bought everything shortly after she died. I only got a chance to see this one picture. It wasn't all that bad, but nothing breathtaking. Well, maybe there's more to her art than meets the eye. Something Wade knew, and we're missing. Yeah, maybe. Well, that exists. Exhausted I should get that. back to the investigation. Okie dokie. 
I had muted the mic, was refilling my soda, unmuted the mic because the conversation ended, and then, all right, do I need to do anything else before I leave? Will it stop me? I don't know. Uh, oh, print out. Uh-oh, did it crash? It crashed. Oh, thank God for autosave. I'll just get rid of the original picture now, since I have the restored version anyway. Strange. Now that I look at them, the lights remind me of something I picked up yesterday. Does it? What did I pick up yesterday that reminds you of? Oh, it's got lights on it. The church logo looks pretty similar to the smoky lights. I might have to visit them after all. Yes. Hey, E, come check this out. Hmm? Wow, they're hypnotic. Looks like a will o' the wisp. You know, the spirit of the forest. Now that's just silly, Eileen. There has to be a more reasonable explanation for them. Hey, there's yeah, nothing the silly about forest we'll spirits. You should talk to Meadow, my Wiccan friend. She's really opened my eyes about these sort of things. Isn't that the same mm -hmm. Meadow who had an intimate relationship with the tree outside her dorm? Oh, come on. That was just a phase. Trust me, I've been through every phase in the book. That definitely isn't one of them. So, anyway, is there anything I can do to help? Well, my side of the room is starting to get a bit messy. There's always that. Haha, <laughs> I meant with the investigation, silly. I guess you could try to find out more about these lights. Maybe figure out where that picture was taken? I know exactly where to start. Good. I'm gonna get some food now before I pass out. Okie dokie. I'll grab my books and get cracking. Alright, see you in a bit. This game makes very liberal use of cutscenes to make sure they don't have to animate so, non-cappy characters with the search? walking around. Yeah, I was able to identify that flower. It's called the Red Scythe, or Rosia Falcus. I discovered that there was a small nature reserve near Conwell Springs, which was established in 89. The Red Scythe is on their list of endangered plants. I made a photocopy of the botany book page in case you want it later. That's something. I should go check it out. Maybe I can narrow down the place where that picture was taken. And, uh, good work, Eileen. Happy to help. So, what... Oh, hang on. I'll go hey, get is that. that. Okie dokie. The daughter? Eileen, or whatever. Wade's daughter? Use the phone. Yes, pick up phone. Hello? Duh. This is Erica Wade calling for Kathy Rain. She doesn't even get a character graphic. Speaking... Miss Rain, uh, this is terribly awkward. I realize now how rude I was before. I wanted to apologize and ask if there is anything I can do. Accepted. I'm not a Apology joke. accepted. You can start by answering a few questions. Very well. Do you recognize the nickname Cocky? It may be an Air Force call sign. I can't say that I do. Father had many friends in the Air Force, but no one I can recall by okay, that she's name. she's probably not going to go about the, know about the incident in 81. There we go. What do you know about Lily Meyer's art? Oh, that little girl had a twisted mind, let me tell you that. Oh, my father used to have a few pieces of hers in his collection. Horrible things. Used to. I couldn't oh, understand crap. why he ever decided to procure them in the first place. You say, used to have. Did he get rid of the paintings? Oh, either that or... Oh, he put them in storage somewhere. I haven't seen them for years. I never bothered to ask him why. Glad to be rid of them, quite frankly. Time to break into a rich guy's storage unit. What can you tell me about Mr. Wade? My father is a great man. He has so many ideas, so much left to realize, which makes it hurt so much more to see him like this. See him like what? The illness and everything, of course. 
Right. Yeah, it must be hard. Yes, indeed. I wish he wouldn't be so stubborn with his treatment. He could go to any state-of-the-art hospital, but insists on being treated in that backwater clinic in Conwell Springs. The community clinic in the middle of town? Yes. It's like he's given up and is just waiting for the inevitable to happen. What do you know about Lily Myers? She was a young artist who lived somewhere in Conwell Springs. Killed herself, if I recall correctly. Dreadful thing. But other than that, not much. We never knew the family. Do you know anything about the Church of the Holy Trinity? It's the one and only church in Conwell Springs. I was baptized there, and I married my husband there. Anything out of the ordinary about them? Oh, not really. That they seem like a typical church to me. Well, they do have a kind of a truth is out there. Do you know anything about what happened to my grandfather that night in 81? No. Not sure. really, no. But what I do know is how it destroyed father. Oh, it did? something. Oh, yes. The two of them were great friends once. And when Joseph was hurt, they hadn't been talking for some time. Father always hoped they would be able to reconnect one day. He kept putting it off, believing they had time. No, but it's not an end, It never happened. So, what were things like back when they were still good friends? Oh, they were like peas in a pot. <laughs> Always sharing their war stories and, and laughing together. In a way, Joseph became <coughs> a uncle I never had. He was around a lot when Father went out on business trips. Later on, I, I even met you a few times, when you were just a baby. I don't remember any of that. Yeah, oh, no matter, baby. he was so little then. Erica, I have to ask. Why were you so defensive on the phone earlier when I tried to reach out? Oh, I don't know, Kathy. Our families haven't been in touch for a long time. I don't remember exactly when it happened, but we all started drifting apart. My guess is that it had to do with Father's growing wealth. Friendship needs common ground, and we started living in different worlds. What happened to your grandfather was the final nail in the coffin. Father just couldn't bear seeing him like that. Neither alive nor dead. All right, thank okay, you. Okay, that's all I needed. Very well. Feel free to call back if you have any more questions. All right. Wade is in Conwell Springs. He's being treated in the clinic. That was Erica Wade. Her father is being treated at the clinic in Conwell Springs. Being treated? He's sick? Looks that way. Small miracle they managed to keep it out of the press. Yeah, I suppose you're returning to talk to him? It'll have to be tomorrow. It's quite late for that now. I suppose. Scrabble? Oh, you're so on. I will crush you. I love how they have completely different worldviews. They bicker, but they still are genuinely friends. Oh, another dream. Turning your pawn into a queen. Is that the plan, buddy boy? You know me. I'm always playing the long game, old friend. Mr. That may Clean be, versus Shadow, but you're Mr. running Clean. out of pieces. First you lost your queen, then your knight. All that matters is the king. Illusional as always. The king is dead. Long live the king. Check. Ah, with those dark circles on his head, it looks like, more like skinny Uncle Fester. That was a Good short morning, game day. sunshine. Please tell me I dreamt all those Scrabble losses last night. Three times in a row. <laughs> Rub it in, why don't you? I'll just go strangle myself now. It's been so long since I played Scrabble, I don't remember how you oh, win. Oh, you. Don't be a sore loser. So what's the plan today? Mr. Wade is the plan. I'll head for the clinic right away. While I'm at it, I'm going to check out the church and the nature reserve. Okie dokie. What can I do to help? Why don't you continue looking into the lights? I have a feeling they're the key to solving all of this. You could also look up the history of Conwell Springs in general, see if anything unusual has been going on. I'll get right on it. Great. Thanks, E. Oh, by the way, don't forget to check out the page I gave you about the red scythe. It's a pretty interesting flower. Right. Yeah. Oh, there we go. 
It's a photocopy of a book page with information about the red scythe flower. Here's an interesting segment. Another interesting trait of the red scythe is the smell, which is familiar to that of a pepper. The pollen of the plant has also been known to cause hallucinations in concentrated amounts. Native American tribes harvested and smoked the plant for that reason, but the flower never caught on as a modern recreational drug due to the difficulty of growing it. So somebody dosed our granddad with enough of that All right, stuff to I'm off. His Peace out, Okie dokie. Good luck and see you later. Or he wandered into a, like, big patch of those things and fell into it? I don't know. Get your motor running.